Welcome everyone, this is Zahn with Repo Products. Today's video is on how to use Revit to create multiple family types in a family. Here I have Revit 2018.3 up. I have a family that was created for a different user. Uh, it's just called an embed plate. And the request by a different user is, how do I make multiple sizes of these as family types to be used in a project? Um, what you want to do is open up the family, head over to the family types window. You'll get this window that opens up. Up here, where it says type name, this is the tool that you want to use. So click this little button right here, and it'll ask you to give it a name. <clears throat> the naming convention, you can try to make it as consistent as you can. So for example, we can say the uh, depth times the width. So the play depth could be you know, one feet, one foot, by one foot by and then this one inch. And I hit OK. What happens is it captures all of this information that's down here and saves it to that family type. If I want to make another size, what I do is click this symbol again and make another one called type 2 and use a different size. So let's say, for example, I do 6 inches by 6 inches by one half inch. And hit OK. Now it remembers the name, but it also captures this data here, which we need to change. So I'll set that to six inches, half inch, and then six inches. Now once you've done that, you have to hit apply. That way all of the new changes here apply to this particular type family name. To make sure that the settings held two things you need to look at. One is the physical end result, if it physically changed or not. Then if I switch this to the other size, one by one by one, does this data change? If it does and you hit apply, will this flex and grow and adjust? And it does. So now I can just freely jump from one to the other. And it will make the effective change. So you can run this process and repeat this process to do many, many family types within this family. And then when you want to use it, save your file, create a new project. And in this case, I'm doing an architectural project. I'll use control tab on my keyboard, jump back to the family. And then I'll click load into project up here. It loads into the project. Once it loads in, the command for a component comes into play. And in the type selector, in the properties palette, you will see the one by one by one and the six by six by half. So pick the one you want and place it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And then also pick the other size, six by six by 12, and place it. And you can see that they work in both veins. So lastly, when you are creating all these different family types, other things you might want to consider are other parameters that define other aspects of the model. For example, the length here <clears throat> of these um, bolts, and then also if they have been parameterized, um, maybe the radius, <clears throat> and even the materials themselves. And that's it. That's how you use Revit to create multiple family types within a single Revit family and how to use them. Thanks for watching.